this video, you will learn about the biggest projects and works of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan in the past few years. The reconstruction work of Kandahar-Kabul Highway started several months ago. This road is a connection between the cities of Kabul and Kandahar in Afghanistan. The highway, which is 483 kilometers long, is part of the Ring Highway of Afghanistan, and it starts from the Barchi Plain of Kabul and passes through Maidan Shar, Sayyidabad, Ghazni, and Kalat until it reaches Ainu Mina, Kandahar, which Mula Baradar in 2023 is responsible for the asphalting of the road project. Arghandi opened the Kabul Kandahar Highway up to Durrani Bazaar. Mullah Baradar said during his speech at the opening ceremony of the mentioned project that compared to other highways, there is more congestion on the Kabul Kandahar Highway. On both sides of the destroyed road, houses and travelers are suffering a lot due to the dust of Kham Road. We ask the contract companies to restore the work of this road as soon as possible with complete honesty and trustworthiness. The reconstruction of the Kabul Kandahar Highway is divided into seven parts from Argandi to Durrani Bazaar, which is 27 kilometers long, 11 meters wide, and has two big bridges, 50 and 80 meters long, with 60 culverts, which consumes about 1 billion Afghanis. This road will be reconstructed with the support of the Islamic Emirate from the private sector within a year, and with its completion, the necessary conveniences for travelers and the transfer of commercial goods will come. This highway is a key part of Afghanistan's national highway system. The entire highway between Kabul and Kandahar does not have any mountain passes, but in some places there are many mountains nearby. Approximately 35% of Afghanistan's population lives 50 kilometers from Kabul to Kandahar on the Afghanistan Ring Road, and it is considered as the main artery of Afghanistan's economy. Also, the reconstruction work of Kandahar Uruzgan Road with a length of 55 kilometers has started, which will be reconstructed with a total consumption of 255 million Afghani from the budget of the Ministry of Public Works. In the second stage, the reconstruction of the Kandahar Herat Highway will begin. In the same way, the work of the Salang Highway had started, and the work inside the Salang Tunnel has been completed and put into operation. During his speech, Mullah said in the ceremony that was prepared on the occasion of the operation of the mentioned project, after the Gush Tipe Canal, this is the second largest national and economic project, and to complete it, the necessary facilities for commuting from north to south and in the sector business will come. He added that the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan is ready to complete the projects with all its energy and promises any cooperation for the contracted companies in this sector. The reconstruction project of the Salang in the north and south of Salang with the support of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan will be completed by the private sector with a length of 80 kilometers within two years, which will provide job opportunities for thousands of people. Through this highway, in addition to nine northern provinces of the country, four large commercial ports are connected to the country's capital on this road, thousands of passenger and cargo vehicles travel daily. Passengers and drivers who use this road are happy with the reconstruction of the road and say that many of their problems will be removed. At the end of the ceremony, Mullah Baradar asked the contracting companies to complete this project as soon as possible with good quality, honesty, and trustworthiness. Salang Highway is one of the important transit highways of the country, which, in addition to connecting the northern provinces to the center of the country, plays an important and fundamental role in the transfer of goods and commercial goods, exports and imports, with neighboring countries. Also, the work of seven road construction projects, which were inaugurated by the economic vice president and started in different areas of Kabul city, these projects include the reconstruction of Kotel Kairkain Road, between Kabul Parvan Highway, 3,710 meters long and 27 meters wide, as well as 7,850 meters of concrete spiked grooves. 11 BE stations, stonework for retaining walls, is 8,107 cubic meters, which will be built and renovated from the government budget at a cost of 370 million Afghanis. It is worth mentioning that during the work of this project, 
direct and indirect work opportunities have been created for a number of our dear compatriots, which plays an important role in solving the unemployment and economic problems of our citizens. Also, the construction and reconstruction of roads and transportation and transit projects in the center and provinces continues, as Mula Baradar inaugurated five major road construction projects in Kabul city. Among these five projects, the practical work of the Northwest Kabul Communication Road was started, which will be completed and put into operation within one and a half years. The Northwest Connecting Road of Kabul is 7.5 kilometers long and 30 meters wide, which was built at a cost of 530 million Afghanis, and its expenses are paid through the internal revenues of Kabul municipality. It should be mentioned that with the construction of this road, the northern provinces of the country will be directly connected with the Kabul Herat Transit Highway. In the same way, the officials of the Ministry of Public Works of the Islamic Emirate say that they have reconstructed and restored about 1,831 kilometers and 1,000 meters of bridges in the past year. Many problems and challenges have caused our country to lack standard roads for transit and commercial items. The lack of security was considered the most important challenge in the country's transportation, and the highways were not immune in this regard, about 50%. The infrastructure of Afghanistan, especially the bridges on the roads, were blown up by terrorist groups, and people were extorted on the road, and business was facing problems due to insecurity on the highways, as well as armed robberies and extortion from there were other types of insecurity that caused the slow growth of business in the country. The lack of transit system and lack of standard transportation vehicles, the movement of high tonnage trucks, administrative corruption, extortions, and the lack of maintenance and maintenance of the roads were the major challenges. Poverty and economic problems are a serious challenge for many Afghan people. Years of war, insecurity, and political developments have weakened the country's economy and increased inequalities. Many families are facing unstable economic conditions, lack of jobs and basic facilities such as water, electricity, and sanitation. Especially in rural areas, social and economic infrastructures need reconstruction. Unemployment, lack of education, and insecurity are other barriers that prevent people from improving their living conditions. With efforts to rebuild and develop the economy, there is hope to increase job opportunities and reduce economic inequality in Afghanistan. Thank you for watching.